Hi everyone, welcome to lesson number 11, The Embrace. There are as many ways to embrace your partner as there are people. It will depend on the music, the person you're dancing with, the amount of floor space you have, the height of each person and so on. So let's um, practice by placing your hands on your partner like this with a, a certain amount of pressure so you feel really connected. But it is very important also to maintain your own axis and not lean against the other person. You still want to be responsible for your own body and your own movements. That embrace can open up. It can be flexible and if we open up like this you can see we are creating a circle of connection. There will always be a little bit of resistance between each other for the information to be passed between each person. There is so much going on in the embrace. All the sensitivities and information pass through this connection and transmit into the steps, which can be quite complex. But the most important thing is to have that connection with your partner. Whether we are dancing like this, which is a very elegant salon tango, or we are dancing in a milonga like this where there's not much room. These people are dancing milonguero style. And often the couples seem almost glued to each other. They are moving as one. It's as if they have one torso and four legs. Or we open up to do big moves like this, a colgada. The connection is always so important. And after all, what it is, is still a hug. Thanks for watching and see you next week.